Good morning, folks. Good morning. It is about 9 a.m. I am on the Golden Eagle Trail. This has been a bucket list trail for quite some time now. This is a 9.3 mile trail, according to all trails. You all know I've told you before that this can actually, uh, it can be longer, it can be shorter. Um, but I was walking up the trail, seen the trail registry. Then as I was filling out the paperwork, um, I always plug my YouTube in the, the registry. Um, I heard some voices behind me and there's a bunch of folks, um, definitely senior citizen age, out here with their trekking poles or hiking packs. They said they did this once a year. And you know what? I think this is freaking awesome. Um, the people my age and younger even come up with excuses not to come out on trail. And I don't understand it. I, I, I don't understand it. This trail specifically is a hard trail, but not all hiking trails are hard, in fact. Um, but I'm telling you right now, if people that are senior citizen age and older uh, can do this, people my age and younger can definitely do this. But this is a loop trail. There's a few vistas here. And uh, upon reading the comments on all trails, I've been told to go counterclockwise to get the elevation gain out of the way. Um, and I'm already breathing heavy. So let's just enjoy the day. The weather today is supposed to be sunny and 60. Sunny and 60. SS, sunny and 60. So let's just enjoy the day together. Our trail markings today are all orange. And uh, besides people, I am definitely not alone today. But I'll explain more of that later on when we take a water break. Because I'm sure we'll need one. Nice hiking along here in that water flow. I've done some research. Looked at a few other YouTube channels that have done this trail. And apparently there's a few uh, creek crossings we got to do. Um, so we may get our feet wet. But I'm hoping these Merrill shoes that I wear and I brag about all the time do the job at repelling them. So anyway, enough chat. Let's get to hiking. All right, my friends, this is where our loop begins. We have the choice of keeping left, which would be straight, or taking a right, which is all up that way. Now, like I said, I always read reviews and comments on all trails, and a lot of them say to go counterclockwise, which is taking a right, and getting your elevation gain out of the way early. And if I remember correctly upon the videos and the comments, um, you get to see a nice vista first. Um, there's a real popular one here called, uh, I believe it's Raven's Rock. And um, I'm sure that'll be labeled and whatnot. Again, a lot of these trails I'm, I'm on, I've never been to before. Um, I don't typically do trails twice except for a couple of them because they were extra cool and I had somebody with me um, that wanted to go check them out. And uh, Miss Mindy wants to go to Naog Park in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Um, if you didn't check out that video, please go check that out. I will link that in the description box. Um, that was an awesome day. I was there with my uh, friend Billy and... Yeah, we had a great day. It was a beautiful day like this. We got to see some waterfalls, some some uh, train tunnels. We got to go over a cool bridge. But uh, let's start our first uphill ascent. 
I do want to mention that it is kind of peace of mind to know that there's other folks out here on trail. Um, they're ahead of me uh, significantly, actually. They were moving right along. But they're talking and whatnot, and they'll uh, spook off any any bears that might might be ahead so um or any other predator or whatever but not really worried about that today um rattlesnakes are always a problem but i do believe 60 degrees today right now it's not even 60 um i do believe this is too cold for rattlesnakes to be out so i'm sure they're in their little dens and whatnot but uh yeah let's get it done today me and you guys let's kick this trails behind turn and going uphill even more boy the old heart is pumping now that's all right i needed to get out here today and lose all that burger king i wait i ate yesterday <laughs> so i hear some pretty heavy knocking over in that distance Waiting to see if it'll do it again. I don't know. Whew. It would be really nice to have some flat ground right now. <laughs> I have been going up for what seems like a mile already. I also heard there's a bunch of trees down in the area. That ain't no biggie though. Oh, we love the sun, but too much of it, a little shade we love too. <laughs> ah. This is definitely a killer, this very beginning here. I am definitely taking my time going up this incline I don't want to get too wore out because we still got a few more miles to get under our belt but you can see that's up we're walking along the side but we're gradually going up um, I heard that there's only one really steep incline so Whew. Here we go. And this is uh, pretty uphill too. So I'll bring you guys back when I'm at the top. Well, I think for finally meeting some level playing field here. That was definitely an incline. I wouldn't say super steep, but steep enough. Whew. Holy Lord. I'll be stopping for a water break here soon. We have definitely gone up. I know I got to find a place to go pee. Then I'm going to put more water in my system. <laughs> All right, let's find a tree. One and a half miles in, my friends. I'm on a rock here. Um, I'm pretty much at the top of the the uh, incline, but breathing through your mouth and licking your lips can dry your lips out even more. So I always bring uh, Blistex with me. It is um, SPF 15 sunblock because if you do get a uh, sunburn on your lips, and it is possible, 
um, I hear that that stuff hurts. So keep my lips moist <laughs> and uh, sunburn free. Hydration bladder, amazing. Miss Mindy, amazing because she had the idea of filling it halfway with ice cubes uh, and the rest with like a bottle of water or two, whatever it fits. Mine's only a two liter, hers is a, a three liter. Um, I do have a three liter bag. Um, it could be used, I have used it once as a hydration bladder, but I think it's more for something to hang from a tree while you're camping or if you're through hiking, you can fill it up with water. Excuse me, you can filter things out and whatnot. But um, anyway, before we move on, I just wanna show you guys who else I brought with me, who else that's keeping me safe on this trip. And uh, this means very, very, um, this means a lot to me. This means very, very much to me. So this is a homemade walking stick. You can see a carved face in there. But what looks like a bearded old man. This was given to me by my very, very, very best friend, DJ Bacon. I'm not sure if his father made that. I believe his father made this. Um... But this is like a velvet handle, uh, could be strap leather with some like button. Um, I'm assuming it's glued on there, but this is pretty awesome. And this is going to keep me safe and add to the aid of me hiking this long trail today with many inclines and creek crossings. This walking stick was given to me, like I said, by my best friend, but its name is Donald. And if you're unfamiliar with what the meaning of Donald means, let me tell you. The name Donald is, it means great chief, ruler, or king of the world. Um, it's centuries old. It carries a lot of respect from the, I believe it's pronounced sewer name, Domin Hall. Um, Commonly used from the Dalradian, I believe, uh, in Ireland and Scotland. So, um, that's Donald, uh, or ruler, <laughs> and uh, he's keeping me safe today. And um, I never got to meet my buddy DJ's dad. He tragically passed away in 2018. Um, this was, a, I, I met my buddy DJ a few months after, I believe. It could have been a year after. I, I can't remember the year that I met him, but he actually gave me this walking stick uh, for my birthday. And um, he goes, you can never sell it. You can never give it away. Um, it's mine to keep. I, and look how awesome that is. I would never sell that. Something of sentimental value. You don't never sell. If you give it away, it's a hand-me-down, very much like he did with me. So let's get back on trail. Now that we're hydrated, and they gave you a pep talk about the old walking stick. Be careful on these rocks here, just in case uh, any snakes are around here. I know they like to uh, lay on the rocks, obviously, but I still think it's a little bit too chilly for them to be out. So, yeah. It's been a really good hike so far, my friends. All right, now we're gonna go downhill, <laughs> which is not my favorite, but I will say having trekking poles or a walking stick um, can help kind of like brace you so you don't use so much of your knees and ankles. Um, and you'll notice that I almost fell back there. <laughs> it's because I stepped on a rock that leaned to one side. 
Good thing I brought bug spray because I feel the bugs are coming back out. So I'm just going to continue hiking here. We got a lot of miles to put under the belt, like I said. So I will bring you guys back. If I see anything cool, come upon any vistas or anything. Um, which, like I said, there are very many out here. Um, just if anything cool happens. I don't want to bore you with just trail talk or just what's in front of me. <laughs> rocks for any snakes any rock ledges they like to hide under there so i can start to see the uh river down there so got a little bit cooler down here too anyway that's enough late yapping <laughs> i'm guessing this must be a lookout so go down here i think yeah i think this is a vista here Oh yeah, oh my God. Look at freaking that, that is beautiful. Oh man. Well, it didn't take us very long to come upon something really awesome here. It's a long way down. <laughs> oh, I wonder if this is what they um, refer to as um, what is it, Raven's Rock or whatever? Oh man, you guys. <laughs> oh. Well, we were over there a few feet. Now we're over here, just over the top of this tree right here is uh the river oh man y'all don't even know you have to be here this is freaking awesome this is why i do this well one reason This is amazing, dude. I'm glad your dad got to experience this with me. A little personal time. Let's go check out the rest of the trail. All this awesome stuff and we're not even two miles in yet, dudes. Um, so like I said, <laughs> we're uh, gonna start moving on down trail. Um, not that that was it of everything to see, but um, I think when it comes to the vistas, I don't want to say we're all the way done, but I think they were probably the coolest of uh, what vistas are offered out here. I don't know if it's a bird or a bald eagle I hear. Maybe I'll catch it on camera. What do we got here? It's pretty awesome. 
wouldn't doubt if uh, snakes crawl in there. Use that as their dens. We're not gonna bother anybody. We're just gonna keep on moving. <laughs> and not stick our hands in any holes. <laughs> Well, it's about 11 a.m. I have been out here <laughs> for two hours now and I have only accomplished <laughs> two miles of the trail. Uh, that leaves us with seven to go. Um, but there's a lot of cool stuff to see out here, you guys. Uh, we. Like I said, I got a lot of miles to go, and I'm sure there'll be even cooler stuff yet. For instance, more rocks. I freaking love these rocks. They are so BA. If you don't know what BA means, ask an adult. <laughs> or stop living a sheltered life. <laughs> the trail actually goes down there, but I just want to check out over here. Yeah, I see our trails down there. There ain't no way we're jumping that. <laughs> Not unless we want to get hurt. You could scale down it, but that's pretty cool. We're still pretty high up, my dudes. Um, I think the highest we get here is, uh, at least at one of the vistas I seen, it was like 2,180 feet. Um, again, I don't know if that's the highest you'll get in elevation, but... Um, yeah, we're, I feel like we're pretty high up, but we're nowhere near what some of these um, elevations can get in the world. All right, let's get back on trail. So in the pack today, I got my bigger one on. Um, you can usually tell because the straps are black. Uh, my other one is, is gray and it's significantly smaller and it doesn't have the waistband. Um, I got my Teton Sports. I think this is a 65 liter back, uh, pack, not back. Um, it could be 55. I don't remember when I bought it. It's the Scout 3400. Um, in my pack, I probably overdid it on water. But at the same time, I haven't done a lot of hydrating lately. Um, if you heard me say earlier in the video, I need to burn off some Burger King weight. Well, usually what happens, what comes with a Burger King meal? Soda. Um, I have guilty pleasures sometimes, like mostly everybody. I am not very uh, uh, honed in, I guess you could say. Um, on my uh my dieting and eating and whatnot um i'm 40 now i should be really paying attention to that uh but anyway back to the pack because it is a longer hike and it is a little bit warmer today and because i have not been hydrated i'm i am um sweating a little bit and i just want to replenish that i also brought a bottle with a powder with that'll uh rebuild my electrolytes um i brought my stove with me just in case something happens at night i brought a little bit of coffee uh to keep me warm speaking of warm i do have my base layer on right now i have a sweatshirt and i have my outer shell um i do have a tarp just in case i need to uh get under some shelter um i do have my sleeping pad in here uh, to lay on to get off of the ground because the ground can suck the warmth from your body. 
Um, I have a couple knives to defend myself with if I have to. Obviously, I have my pepper spray, um, although I'm not really worried about defending myself. Um, I do have, I always carry my folding saw so I can um, saw up some firewood if, if need be. Uh, I'm never worried about getting lost. I'm, I'm more worried about like if I fall, break a leg, break my ankle, twist my ankle, sprain my ankle, whatever. And I need to get, crawl around and get some firewood and chop it up to last me through the night to keep me warm. Uh, so I can see a little bit, you know, whatnot. Uh, speaking of seeing, um, I do have a headlamp and I do have a flashlight along with a multi-tool and my first aid kit. That pretty much sums up today's, uh, but got some bear poop right here. I think it is. You know, maybe that ain't bear poop. Don't bear poop usually have more, uh, like berries and stuff in it because that's what they eat. So anyway, yo bear, I'm here. If you're here, I'm just passing through. Sometimes I feel a little silly for saying that, but um, it's better that than, you know, the alternative of walking up on a bear and um, him not knowing I'm, him or her not knowing I'm there and they got their cubbies and whatnot um, because it's prime time for them to come back out and start looking for food. Um, I ain't got no, well, I shouldn't say ain't got no food. That's another thing I do have in my pack, by the way. I have a like three or four granola bars um so but they're still sealed obviously and they're in a sealed container so hopefully no aroma like i know granola bars don't really like smell smell but to a bear that's got 20 times better smell than we do you know but it's pretty cool we're passing down through some pines right right now looks like we might be on a switchback here <laughs> Yeah, how about it? I like switchbacks. They're so much easier of a gradual incline, or in this case, in this case, a decline in trail, rather than just going straight up like we did before. That was tough, but I've done tougher. Stinger, Stinger Trail on uh, the Green Monster I did a couple years ago. And um, uh, the Stonecutter Trail, that, that was, I think, even, even worse than today's uphill battle. But, no, oh, we are definitely, we're going down into the, the gorge now. So, or I wouldn't say gorge, it would be uh, the canyon, I guess. Ah, there you go. You can kind of see a little bit of the river down there. Right down in there. It's terrible. More like over there. There we go. Let's zoom in right there. You can kind of see that right there. But eventually we're going to end up walking by the, uh, the creek, the stream, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, that should be quite pleasant. And I think it's most of the way back when we get down there. So that'll be nice. By the way, one last thing here. Some of you may be asking where Miss Mindy is. Miss Mindy is working. She was asked to work a uh, full day today. So that's what she's doing. Sadly, she had to take some time off because she was dealing with some uh, medical problems. And... Uh, she was asked to work a full day today from, from 8 to 5, so that's what she's doing. And uh, I'm out here alone enjoying the beautiful weather, this awesome hike with uh, the ruler here. <laughs> uh, otherwise known as Don, or Donald was his full name, but Don, they called him Don for short. Um, his last name is Bacon. B-A-C-O-N, Bacon. No joke. It's the greatest last name to ever last the last names right <laughs> oh man it feels good to be out here it feels really good to be out here 
kind of wondering when I'm going to meet up with uh, all the older folks that I run across in the beginning. <laughs> um, <coughs> they uh, must have went clockwise instead of counterclockwise. They were probably saving the uh, the uh, vistas till the end. All right. We finally come down to our little uh, creek walk here. This is, oh, sheesh, let me pull out my GPS here to find out what trail that is. That would be the Wolf Run Trail. Our trail continues on this way. So away we go. Boy, what a beautiful piece of trail right here sound of that water fairly flat trail see the blue sky the bare trees some pines bushes i love it i really do this is the definition of how to clear your mind my friends speaking of if you're just joining me welcome my name is travis I like to hike. I like to camp. My last video, I camped in a teepee. You should go check that out. That was really cool. Um, I like to see waterfalls. Um, I got some plans of mountain biking. I got some plans of kayaking. I got all kinds of plans. Uh, hopefully going to happen this summer. I really want to do the kayaking. But I hike. I, I do the outdoors for my mental health. I've been through some bad relationships in my life that have kind of screwed my brain up a little bit. And this is how I found it brings me back to center, makes me feel human, makes me cope with life a hell of a lot better uh, than somebody that just has stress on the daily. And lately my stress has been kind of mounting up with my dog having cancer and my landlord not doing anything about the leak in the roof at our apartment or various other things that were wrong with it, broken windows, doors with no doorknobs, uh, no privacy or anything. Not that I need it because it's just me and Miss Mindy who live in the apartment. But I hike for my mental health. If I can teach you, if I can show you, um, if I can make you feel better about yourself, uh, if I can encourage you to get outdoors and clear your mind, I've already won. But check out this little waterfall. And like I've said before, I call this channel the Travis Walker Experience, not to copy Joe Rogan, because it's a completely different content, but you are experiencing my life with me. You're experiencing my hikes with me, my camps with me, my bad times, my good times with me. You're experiencing all of that with me. So hang out. If you like a video, give me a thumbs up. I honestly don't even care if you subscribe. Just watch a video, like a video. Um, if you think someplace I go is really cool, I advise you to go yourself. Maybe share it with a friend and they'll share it with another friend. And who knows, maybe someday we'll meet up in the outdoors or we can plan a meetup and we can go hiking together. We can enjoy some trails. We can enjoy some sunshine. We can enjoy some waterfalls. hiking right alongside of the stream. I love it. I really, really love it.
right. We, well, we could have gone up there, I guess, but we'll uh, step up here. Careful on these rocks, too. Sometimes they can be stupid slippery. This is beautiful, y'all. Oh man, look at that. That is something. <laughs> All right, so our trail continues over there. We uh, need to cross. Probably right here would be the best. So let's do that. All right, so we're gonna cross this uh, creek here on this tree branch. But it's really easy when you got a walking stick such as Don, the ruler here, or <laughs> trekking poles. You can balance yourself. Got some wide open trail for a second here. Look at this water flow. Ain't that beautiful? All right. We got to cross the creek again here. See our orange blazing right up there? Yeah. This should be pretty easy, though. All right. We made it. Those wet rocks right there, they are stupid slippery, especially with the thin film of mud on them. Whew, that's terrible. If you ever come out here, just watch your step. So, a little while back, I said we we're gonna start our second ascent according to the map. Well, we're on it and it's nothing too crazy. It just shows that we're going uphill gradually, which I'm thankful for. <laughs> Looks like somebody slid. It is a little bit muddy through here. We're gonna stay more to our left here. Yeah, that's yeah, a muddy mess. So there's a spot where the trail curves around and it's basically a straight shot to the tail or the beginning where we started our loop um, when I get there I'll find a decent spot to sit down and have some of my electrolyte drink and maybe a couple granola bars Ain't never had a shoe come untied before. I guess it's the first time for everything. <laughs> Another creek crossing here. This won't be too difficult. Bam, just like that. <laughs> Professional creek crosser here. <laughs> it appears we've gotten into the rocky part of the trail. Whew. I think I might've pushed myself a little bit too hard in the beginning. My legs feel like jello. <laughs>
pretty chill little area through here. Oh, there's finally a breeze and some shade. Not that the sun is too much of a killer, but it's nice to get out of every now and again, like I said before. Uh, looks like we have a doggy print in there. Another small creek to cross. But it's been really pleasant today, my dudes. It's been really pleasant. Um, it's been pretty quiet. Uh, I haven't run into anybody else. I haven't hit any wildlife. I mean, we still have a few miles to go. But it's been a good day. I tell you what though, I'm ready for a break. I think I'm gonna take me one. What the heck is this? Oh, I heard something about this on a video I watched this morning actually. This is an old stove, I guess. Yeah, I guess it's an old stove. Huh. Ain't really nothing fancy about it, but kind of makes you wonder what was out here years ago, possibly. Boy, this section of the trail is all roots and down trees and All kinds of hazards to break your damn ankle. A little bit of water. Some pines, bushes. They said this trail was going to have a mixture of everything. Rocks, roots, bushes, trees, pines, climbs, descents. Flat. <laughs> I guess that's what makes a trail unique, you know? Heard that tree knocking again. Sounds closer. Every time I turn on the camera, it stops. I don't know what happened here, but looks like lots of deer hair. Huh. Yeah, there's more strands right there. Okay, so now I'm using my personal cell phone um, instead of my camera phone, because, I mean, longer trails, more clips, 4K, usually runs the battery dry. I do have a, a, uh, wow, tree branch is falling down. Um, I do have a charger battery pack in my pack, um, but I still got a couple more miles to go, so I want to keep pushing on until we sit down and take our break, um, which this actually crosses our, our turn is in the state game lands, then it turns back onto uh, the state park area. It's all the Golden Eagle. It just goes on to stay game lands and then it turns back into the, the state park. So, uh, yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> so I just run into uh, that group of older folks. God, they gotta be, 
they got to be older than 55. I swear they, they have to be. Um, but the one gentleman I was talking to was talking about rattlesnakes. He goes, you name a trail. I've been there. So I think it's amazing. Excuse me. Um, when older folks have a life history of like adventures, you know, like they didn't sit around and waste their life. They didn't let a job, you know, take up 90% of their time. They got out and they lived. And that's, that's what I try and uh, push on a lot of people here on YouTube is like, live your life, man. Uh, have fun, get out, hike, get out, ride your motorcycle, get out on a vacation, take a cruise, some, something, something. Um, but last little bit of good news is he said everything's easy from here on out, except there is a decline that's pretty rocky and dry leaves that's quite slippery. So, um, and the Vista does have a bench that we can sit down on and rehydrate and have our snacks. And man, am I looking forward to that. Oh man, I can't wait to find those benches. I need to sit down. Folks, don't ever do what I do. Sometimes I think I can push myself. I mean, I'm doing all right, don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with me. My legs are just like jello and uh, I'm ready to sit down and uh, put something in my belly and uh, there, heard a hiss. Um, anyway, rehydrate. Might have been just a twig too. <laughs> Older gentleman said there was rattlesnakes on this trail which is kind of a given. So, but again, it's a little too early for them to be coming out. So, whew. Let's get to this Vista. Oh, I see a sign up here. Let's see what this says. Golden Eagle Trail, right. Dragon's Back Trail, right. Hillborn Trail, right. Obviously you can't go left, so let's go this way. Whew, where's that vista? <laughs> so we just crossed over the boundary of the state park into the state game lands. So we are now on state game lands. We got this wide open trail here and uh, yeah. Hopefully that Vista comes up soon. I kind of started the day with a little bit of a headache. Um, might be because I only had three quarters cup coffee when I'm used to two full cups. Well, mugs, not necessarily cup to a tea. You get what I'm saying, right? Right. This is nice. Real nice. And... You can see that there. That's our sign for our one of the vistas. This, I believe, is the better of the two. Oh man, elevation 2180. Bella, Bella Land Vista. Beulah Land Vista, however that's pronounced. Drink it in, my friends. Got this nice little log bench that I'm gonna sit down on, take my pack off, and take a break. Oh, this is gonna feel so good. Oh my goodness. Oh my tootsies. <laughs> Somebody's target practicing off in the distance.
This is my electrolyte uh, grape. Oh, that tastes good. <sighs> Something with taste in it besides water. Water is great, but water ain't got no taste. <laughs> so good yes oh man what do we have fruit to green uh, we got chewy chocolate covered granola bars and I think I have regular granola bars in here too yeah I got regular granola bars let's have one of each bone apple tea um I had a bug on my hand. Uh, remember, trash. You bring it in, you take it out. This trail really did kick my butt today. I don't do enough of these uh, hard trails. Actually, this is shorter, but I think this one is probably worse than the Green Monster. Green Monster ended up being 15 and a half miles for me, the route that all the trails took me. And uh, this is only 9.3 miles, and it's totally, totally kicked my butt. But I'm going to finish this granola bar, chug some more water, and we're going to finish this trail. If you made it this far, thanks for hanging with me. And um, give the video a thumbs up if you like it. If not, that's cool. Uh, thanks for watching this bar. Um, YouTube has like subscriber rewards, but they really care about the views. They like how many people watch your video for the duration they watch your video, you know. Um, then they put it in the algorithm. And I'm not looking to become like internet YouTube famous. Um, but... Like I've stated before, what's the point of making videos if nobody's going to watch them? Um, I've often referred to it as a musician. Besides the sheer love of doing it, what's the point of writing a song, making albums, putting them out, and nobody buys them? Um, it, it's kind of pointless, you know? You make a video, hopefully for people to watch it. Make music, hopefully for people to listen to it. Um, two things which I love very much making videos and uh music but anyway let's get some more water all right guys we got 5.68 miles left of this trail let's get it so all trails needed to recalculate we only have 3.6 miles left of this trail i thought that seemed like a lot but i'm like oh, i don't know whatever at this point, my mind is in a daze and I'm kind of on autopilot. Just following the blazings, following the trail. So, all right. So, I don't think that's where we turn. Hmm. No, we got a few feet to go before we turn to the left back into the woods. I don't mind this trail though. Nice and flat, wide open. I can see everything around me. So we're gonna make a turn here. This is the other vista. The Bonnell Run Vista elevation. 
2100 feet it's not too bad the other vista was better but yeah about it so i'd be lying to you if i said my feet didn't hurt today um i did notice because of so much hiking that i do do uh <laughs> do do um yes that's my immaturity folks uh that my marrows are coming apart uh now i've had these for a couple years i think yeah it's it's close to a couple years and every week wearing them and putting them to the test yeah i think they're uh holding up just fine and the only thing that's wrong with them right now is the front you know that front plastic or rubber lip comes up and it's either sewn or like super glued on to the front of the shoe um that's starting to come off i think that's a uh, common problem with shoes and sneakers anyway so but other than that i'll buy another pair merrill has surpassed my expectations when it comes to hiking shoes well done how's the trail been good no What's wrong with the trail? Oh, bumpy, rocky. Yeah, I agree with you. You ready to go? All right, let's go. All right, dudes. So I was a little wrong. Um, so the Dragon's Back Trail goes that way. Horn Run Trail goes that way. Golden Eagle Trail via Bono Run continues this way. So we have to take this. Um, again, Dragon's Back is that way. That sucks. I really thought we were going that way, but uh, we have to make a turn here. So if we went that way, that would add, I believe, quite a few miles onto the trail. So we're just going to continue on here. Uh, not running out of daylight. Um, I just have to pick Miss Mindy up from work. So I want to be sure I'm able to get back to the trailhead in time with enough time to travel and pick her up. Okay, so we've reached the steep, rocky, leafy part that... Uh, one of the ladies of that group mentioned. Um, yeah, this this ain't fun. I hate going downhill. Just even with the walking stick, uh, my knees and my ankles and my feet are jammed against the front of my shoes. And yeah, it's just an uncomfortable experience. The uh, resiliency of those older folks, like I said, they had to have been 55 plus. Um, and if they were younger, um, no offense, but they didn't look at it. <laughs> um, but yeah, very resilient. To get up this hill, kudos to them. Well, that sucked. But we're pretty much at the bottom now. Um, I mean, we're still going downhill, but not really big rocks and leaves to trip us up here. A couple more miles, my friends. Um, today has been a freaking workout. Uh, just met a young gentleman starting the trail. He goes, is this counterclockwise? I said, no, sir, you're going clockwise. I started out counter counterclockwise and uh, he goes, oh, okay. I said, be prepared. I said, you'll get a workout. He goes, awesome. Looking forward to it. So, um, yeah, I, like I feel good after these hikes, but I also feel like dog poo because again, my legs are like jello. My feet hurt now and I've had a headache since the beginning of the day, just a slight one. I was hoping drinking all this water would like hydrate me and but anyway, we got a couple more miles to do, so let's finish up. 
in in progress i just thought this was a pretty area been walking by the stream here for pretty much since the last clip had to cross it a couple times but at this point my feet are on fire i don't care if they get wet <laughs> i'm gonna take my socks off and put my crocs on when i get back to the truck oh that's gonna be so nice see like right here i don't even care we're just gonna walk through it shoes are water repellent so <laughs> it has no effect Well, my friends, we have officially hit the one mile marker. We are almost done. I mean, I'll come out and do a hard trail again, but holy crap, like I said, the green monster was rated hard and I don't think that trail was even remotely close to hard as this one. Probably because the green monster, even though it was significantly longer, um, the terrain was about the same like i said earlier this trail you've had rocks leaves you've had up downs and switchbacks and uh wide open trail you've had tree root trail and everything um there's been constant up and downs and trees down that you got to maneuver and that's part of the trail that's what makes up the the trail system or loop but man am i ready to take this pack off take my shoes and socks off let my feet air out a little bit good thing you guys are watching through a screen <laughs> i could probably go for a nice cold beer too yeah but i'll wait till i get home to do that don't want to drink a drive you know And there is where it all began. To say I'm beat is an understatement. I seriously want to thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I know this is longer than normal, uh, but hey, longer trails, more things to see, possibly some things to talk about. Um, in essence, the video is going to be longer uh but if you like watching my videos i don't think length would really bother you anyway um but i am so ready to get this pack off like i said my sneakers and my socks um, i'm ready to sit down in a comfortable chair for just a minute but thank you guys again for hanging out with me gentlemen come up behind me and we got talking he's done the at the Black Forest Trail, Mid-State Trail. He also maintains a lot of these trails. And if he ever watches this, I just wanted to say thank you, sir, for being very kind. And his trail name is Dinosaur. So thank you guys for hanging out with me today. As always, y'all stay safe, stay healthy, and y'all please be good to each other. We'll see you next, next we'll, we'll, we'll see you sometime. <laughs>